In this video, I'm going to be showing you what's added in the 0.40 version of OBS for the Mac, as well as some test clips and some tips. Scene editing was added in the 0.31 version of OBS. I did not make a video, that's why I want to cover scene editing. And here's a few tips. Uh, if you want to move it freely, you can hold command. And if you, wanna, if you don't want to keep the aspect ratio, then you can hold shift. Now in this version, you can actually add images or pictures. So I've seen people like put like a B right back or have their... Uh, have a border around their webcam and cool stuff like that. So that was actually added on this version of OBS. If you can't get the audio to work, I have two solutions. You can download Soundflower or WavTav, I think that's what it's called, and your audio should work just fine after that. So if you do a local recording, uh, it saves it in this FLV format. So you cannot open it with QuickTime Player. It just doesn't support it. So what you need to open it up is a program called VLC Player. And it's a free program that you can download. And this supports any video format. You can open up any video format on your Mac. And it also works with Windows. So uh, I'll just show you how it works. So here's the one of the quick, I mean, sorry, OBS recording. And if you open it up, it should just work Let's see, it's taking some time, but it should work. And it should play. There you go. Few more things were added on this version. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the CPU percentage. And now you can choose between lots of different languages. Here are the settings that I use to record my test footages. You can see for video rate, I use 5000 and for audio bit rate, I use 124. Having a second monitor definitely helps when you're recording using OBS. You can see on the right that I have my MacBook where I'm previewing what's going on. And you can see you can see this frame uh, drops and frame uh, freeze, uh, but I'm fairly confident that if you even if you have like something like Optifine and change everything to very low that you should be able to uh, record Minecraft just fine. I like OBS because it's not like screen flow where you have to actually export it and that takes like 20 minutes. You can just start recording and stop recording and use the clip right away. But for uh, for me to put this on this video, I actually had to change the format from FLV to uh what is it called flv2 uh h.264 so mp4 to actually put this on final cut pro so i don't think it's supported on final cut pro or uh what is it called what's the imovie so and i used handbrake to convert it to mp4 to use it on final cut pro Okay, now let's try uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This game is actually not demanding as much as like Minecraft as far as recording goes. Not playing, but recording. Uh, you can just set this to about 3000 bitrate, but I was recording in 5000 bitrate. That's why it's so bad. And I actually had all the settings in this game set to high. So yeah, you should not do that when you're recording on a MacBook Pro. So as you guys can see, it, it actually it was not too bad. I had terrible internet connection. That's why you see all this lag. But I am fairly confident that if you set the settings low and if I had a good connection, you should be able to record this game with OBS without any problems. Hopefully this video helped you fix some of the problems that you had. But if you still have more problems, just tweet me at tech that interest without the T. Make sure you tweet this and I will reply to your tweet. Uh, it's just hard for me to reply to comments, so that's why I'm saying uh, just tweet me. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I will make a video about uh, next versions of OBS as soon as I can. And that's going to be it for this video. Uh, peace out.